Hi everybody, today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about removing dried resin from the top of your LCD screen. Um, we'll be doing this on my uh, Creality LD002R and uh, I'll put the link to the video that I found below. And this is really anything, I used to just get out, you know, get a, a plastic scraper once I even used a metal scraper, you know, just to scrape it right off. But uh, this uh, technique uses a, uh, a sponge that is uh, loaded up with hot water. I uh, put it on there for 15 minutes and we're going to do so. And then I'm also going to uh, give a little, uh, you know, my opinions for what they're worth on, um, on uh, replacing the uh, LCD screen. Okay, it's time. To, it's been about maybe 10, 15 minutes, a little longer. I got a little distracted. I'm going to remove the um, uh, the sponge, okay, and then what happens with with the hot sponge is that the, it um, softens the the resin. No, there wasn't a lot of resin, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, I'll put a link to the uh, to the guy who actually did this originally. Okay, and then see it just uh, it's hard to do this one handed, but. Yeah, there, there wasn't a lot of resin, and it just it's just coming right up. Okay. And you don't have to chip at it, and then uh, of course uh, use a um, use a plastic um, scraper. Got this at uh, the dollar store, and you just kind of work it, and then once um, um, once you get it up, then you take you take a um, you take a cloth, and then wipe it off and then once uh, once you get it all off um, I usually will take a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol see it just just came right off I didn't really I didn't show um, you know the before when all the resin was on there uh, and then also be careful that you don't rub too hard and then you know you pull pull the pull the LCD screen off um, you know out of the hinge and then uh, I did that once uh, when I was scraping it, you know, just getting in there with elbow grease and scraping off the resin, and it pulled the it pulled the LCD screen out, and then it uh, consequently it pulled on the wiring. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, hot water on a sponge, sponge on top. Wipe it off with a plastic um, scraper, and then I'm kind of seeing spots I missed. Uh, I'm looking at this through the uh, view viewfinder of my camera. Okay, and then um, I'm not, I'm going to do this off camera, but I'm going to wipe everything down with uh, alcohol. That includes the build plate. And also I'm going to, uh, of course, I'm going to um, re-level uh, re the bed. Okay, a couple of things uh, about FEPs. Now, the first time I ever had to change an FEP, I was like, I was disheartened. It was like, uh, oh, this is too hard to do. Now I'm like changing them out every... Uh, uh, you know, every couple, you know, every one or two weeks. I had the original one. I had that for a good uh, uh, maybe six months. And then, uh, you know, it seemed like it was a hard Herculean task. And then uh, the first time I did it, it was, you know, it took me like an hour. I just do a little bit and then come back to a little bit. Now, get it done, change that, plug it in. And um, Bob's your uncle in about, uh, oh, maybe 10 minutes tops. And, uh, yeah, um, a couple of things on, yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's a necessary thing. I wish somebody had told me beforehand, you know, you have to change the FEP things on the, um, in the, in the fat and things like that. But, you know, I mean, the changing the FEP, the, you know, that, that takes longer than changing the LCD. And, uh, you know, it was, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I could do the FEP change right away, but, the um, LCD just it seemed just so daunting and you know and I keep saying you know, now, now I do it no problem now with the purchasing the uh, extra LCDs uh, I've been getting them on Amazon um, about maybe um, between 20 25 bucks and then I order two of them so I have one I have one in the machine and then I have one handy and then when I put when I put a new one in I'll order it again Amazon um, you know just look up uh, and make sure uh, make sure it's for the Creality. I tried uh, I tried being a cheap bastard and they have LCD screens for like $14.99 on Amazon. 
and they ended up uh, it, it was for another one when I typed up LCD um, LCD for my my particular model it um, it came out where uh, you know, oh yeah, this one might work, and it looked exactly like it. So I, you know, I gave it a gamble, put it in. Nothing happened. It didn't work. So just get, make sure you get Creality three or Creality um, um, LD two thousand two R. You know, well, in other words, make sure you get one that is um, that is uh, for your machine. Okay, don't try to scrimp. Don't try to um, be fancy. Um, you know, at least Amazon took it back, okay? So, um, and then I have one other hack. Um, LCD screens, they come with like a, a plastic film. And when I take off the plastic film, you know, instead of throwing it away, I put it on the screen, on the touch screen, you know, to kind of replace it. It's still, it's still sticky, just sticks right on there. And then uh, you have a, you know, you have a handy... Um, have a handy cover for that, so you know your your fingers uh, you know, that are caked with resin don't uh, get all over the buttons. Okay, um, yeah. So there you go. Um, you know, subscribe. I got a couple of new subscribers uh, this week. Woohoo! Would take over the world, and uh, I, I sub back to them. So thanks, uh, thanks, new subscribers. Thanks for watching. Uh, do you have any uh, any hacks for LCD um, screen cleaning? Um, there's something that I need. You know the um, on my uh, wash station, um, this, um, you know, the little plate that rotates so you um, put the UV thing, it's really caked with a lot of, um, with a lot of dried resin. Does anybody have any hacks on removing the dried resin? I'd appreciate that. Uh, I tried the uh, hot thing. I might try it again. Uh, I think when I tried it, it might not have been hot enough. So, um, uh, more word on that. Um, I'll, I'll make a video on that. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm off to um, I'm off to uh, relevel the bed and start printing again. I'm working on a project uh, for the non gaming unicorn's 50th birthday or 39th birthday, and um, it's an Annabelle. It's an Annabelle fig, and then when I finish painting it, I'll talk a little bit more. And then I also did. She likes haunted doll um, doll movies, and I have some. Uh, I have a couple of haunted dolls. Um, couple haunted dolls that I that I finished and uh, we'll talk about them uh, in a little bit thanks for watching bye now